Hi, I'm Herb Stevens, the skiing weatherman. Here we are at the climatologically favored time of year for the January thaw, and it looks as though any extended mile spell this month has already come and gone. The jet stream that turned westerly during the warm-up has gone back to northwesterly, and that should provide us with consistently cold air most of the time for the foreseeable future. We love the cold air. The snowmakers have been taking full advantage, but we'd really like to see a big snowstorm. Let's check out the prospects for that. This week's storm dropped most of its snow within 50 miles of the coast, as these maps show, so only a handful of ski areas really benefited. In this pattern, the push of Arctic air can be too strong, which suppresses the storm track to the south. The same general jet stream configuration of a western ridge and an eastern trough will remain in place for the next week or so, and new snow in the mountains will be on the light side, generated for the most part by moisture-challenged Alberta clipper lows. Now that we got the weather figured out, how about those surface conditions? Here are the details for the weekend. Even though the mountains to the north missed out on this week's storm, the snowmakers have made some sizable gains this week. You'll love the snow you'll find this weekend close to home at Mohawk Mountain, Mount Southington, and Mountain Creek, where they did pick up nearly half a foot on Tuesday. In the Catskills, Hunter Mountain has a mogul's workshop this weekend. Light snow has helped out there this week, as it has at Wyndham and at Bel Air. The surfaces have softened up at Platakill. Gore and Whiteface in the Adirondacks have received enough light snow to add up to nearly a foot in the past seven days. Jiminy Peak in the Berkshires has picked up four inches in the past week. They're in fine shape, as are Catamount and Butternut. In Vermont, trail counts are rising at Mount Snow. Bromley has a big telemark workshop this weekend, and light snow has been fairly persistent this week at Sugar Bush. The big storm missed northern Vermont, but Stowe, Smuggler's Notch, and Bolton Valley have managed to pick up close to a foot in the past seven days. Early this week was snowy up in the eastern townships of Quebec, and both Mount Sutton and Owls Head now have packed powder once again. More trails are open than a week ago at Bretton Woods in New Hampshire. In Maine, trail counts have risen this week at Sugarloaf, Saddleback, and at Sunday River. Conditions have improved throughout the week in the Northeast, so you should get out and enjoy them this weekend. I'm Herb Stevens, the skiing weatherman.